God we have and how fortunate we are to have him, this father of our master Jesus. Because Jesus was raised from the dead, we've been given a brand new life and have everything to live for, including a future in heaven. And the future starts now. God is keeping careful watch over us in the future. The day is coming when you'll have it all, life healed and whole. The Apostle Peter writes in his letter, Because Jesus was raised from the dead, we have been given a brand new life and have everything to live for, including a future in heaven. And the future starts now. I sometimes think that we can find ourselves so focused on eternity that we miss out on the reality of eternity in the here and now. As Fanny Crosby reminded us in our opening song, Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. We should enjoy life while we are here, and many of the good things of eternal life are available to us right now. As Christians, we are responsible for becoming aware of these things, valuing and enjoying them. We will enhance our quality of life by intentionally discovering and becoming consciously aware of these things. What if we were able to transport ourselves to our future eternal life? What would we not only have and what would we experience? What we do know is that we have a place in God's heaven. For he has raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. In this existence, we have boundless resources available to us, such as belonging to God's family. He has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. It is through the salvation God offers that the boundless power of the Holy Spirit becomes our life force in the here and now. When you believed in Christ, he identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit whom he promised long ago. The Spirit is God's guarantee that he will give us the inheritance he promised and that he has purchased us to be his own people. He did this so we would praise and glorify him. However, the stark reality is that we can't physically see our heavenly existence or touch it with our hands. Do these eternal truths make a real difference in our day-to-day existence? Are we able to identify them in the tensions and worries of everyday life? when illness threatens to destabilise our current way of living, when family issues seem to overwhelm us with seemingly insoluble problems, when loneliness and isolation leave a void in our lives. Does this concept of eternal life in the here and now offer us answers?
Can we really experience eternal life in the present? How does this work out? The cognitive knowledge of such a concept is one thing, but what is the experience of such knowledge? Is it ultimately a matter of faith? Do we have the ability to experience and know this right now? It is difficult for us to comprehend an environment that does not match our current experience and perception because we live in a time and space limited environment. Therefore, the concept of an unseen spiritual environment becomes challenging. There is, however, no reason to believe that there isn't something there just because it is invisible. Electricity is invisible, but if you stick your finger in the electrical outlet in the wall, you will soon be aware of its existence. There is no doubt in the Bible that eternal life will be available in the future as well as now. The eternal life of God will one day be fully manifested for all creation to see, but we don't have to wait until that time to begin experiencing it. When we turned our life over to Jesus, we were infused with his spirit, who gives us eyes to see the hope of knowing the presence of the eternal God in the here and now and experiencing an invisible power in our lives. Since we have the spirit of Jesus within our inner being, we have the presence of one who has already conquered death. I believe that the same one who dwells within us also resides in heavenly places. In other words, this perception allows us to begin experiencing the eternal life of Jesus while we still live here on earth. Let the Holy Spirit take control in your heart, your mind, your soul. Let your heart and mind be still, find security within his will. In those moments as you quietly kneel, let the Spirit be your seal, confident in him to grow, life eternal in him to know. Light was one of the promises that Jesus made to his followers 
particularly relevant to life here. I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. I can recall in my first appointment driving in a fairly remote rural area on a moonless night when suddenly all the car lighting failed. Since there wasn't a flashlight in the car, it was absolutely pitch black. I can only imagine what it would be like to have to navigate life in complete darkness. Every step would be clouded by fear, uncertainty and confusion. By offering the light of life, Jesus promises to dispel the darkness. Rather than merely being a symbol, the light represents a transformation. There is one quality that every human being needs in this life, and that quality is light. As we follow Jesus, we will understand, we will be guided, and we will be given clear vision and clarity. His light provides illumination and direction in our lives, just as a candle illuminates a dark room. This light serves as a beacon, guiding us towards truth, love and compassion so that we can better navigate the complexities of life. It helps us to discern right from wrong, guiding us towards ethical and moral choices aligned with his values. It is through the light from his teachings and example that we find a moral compass which helps us navigate through life's challenges and uncertainties. Our relationship with Jesus is strengthened by his light, which guides us towards personal growth, healing and a deeper relationship with him. I heard the voice of Jesus say, I am this dark world's light. Look unto me, thy morn shall rise and all thy day be bright. I looked to Jesus and I found in him my star, my sun, and in that light of life I'll walk till travelling days are done. We experience eternal life in the here and now through our commitment to Jesus Christ. Before returning 
to his father, Jesus promised that all believers would experience his inner presence. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you, and be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Despite the circumstances we face, Jesus' words assure us that we are never truly alone. His presence isn't confined to some distant heaven. It is a constant, comforting presence. This awareness can reduce anxiety and fear. Knowing we're not alone gives us courage and resilience to face challenges. It will enhance our intimacy with God. Reflecting on his constant presence allows for genuine prayer and conversation. It provides guidance and strength. As we face difficult decisions, we can find guidance and strength from him because we trust his presence within us. It is Jesus' promise to his disciples and by extension to all believers that he will always be with us. The promise of his unfailing presence transcends the passing of time and the changing of circumstances. In every moment of our lives, we can find comfort and strength that Jesus is with us. We are not alone. He walks beside us on our journey, guiding us, comforting us and giving us the tools we need to succeed. It is not only a matter of companionship that he provides, it is also a matter of guidance and teaching that he continues to provide. With the Holy Spirit indwelling us, we can experience Jesus' presence today, who teaches, convicts and empowers us. We can rely on Christ's presence to guide us in paths of righteousness and wisdom as we follow him. In spite of the fact that God will one day reveal his eternal life fully to all creation, we can begin to experience eternal life now. It is when we cognitively and spiritually make a conscious and intentional decision to turn our lives over to Jesus that eternal life is guaranteed. We have everything to live for, including a future in heaven, because Jesus was raised from the dead. In addition to being a guarantee for the future, it is also a guarantee for the here and now of the present. We have a direct connection to eternal life through our relationship with Jesus Christ. The one who lives in heaven also lives within us by his Spirit, the Holy Spirit providing us with the direct connection and proof of the immediate presence of life eternal. His resurrection is the proof we need that there is such a thing as an existence beyond this life, and it is through his resurrection that we have the guarantee of eternal life. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. God sent his son.
one day I'll cross that river I'll find life's final with And then as death gives way to victory, I'll see the lights of glory, and I'll know he reigns. Because he One thing that is helpful in experiencing this eternal life now is to develop an acute awareness of your own spirit. Human beings are a trichotomy of body, mind and spirit. Awareness of the body and mind is reasonably straightforward. However, awareness of the human spirit is far more of a challenge and not so uncomplicated. Yet it is here that we connect with God, for he is spirit. This is a personal journey, and there is no single right way to accomplish it. Can I suggest a practice that might be helpful in increasing your awareness of your own spirit? Create a personal space or altar, a sacred space where you can connect with your inner self and with God. It can be as simple as a small table or a garden seat that becomes a holy place for the time you spend alone there. Make time for silence and solitude to quiet the external noise and distractions of everyday life. In these moments of stillness, you may find it easier to connect with your inner self and sense of spirituality. Solitude provides an opportunity for introspection. Use this time to read your Bible, reflect on your thoughts, feelings and experiences and pray and meditate. For some people, journaling provides a space for introspection and reflection. Ask yourself questions about your values, your aspirations, your sense of purpose and your relationship with God. Mid all the traffic of the ways, turmoils without within, make in my heart a quiet place and come and dwell therein, a little shrine of quietness, all sacred to thyself, where thou shalt all my soul possess, and I may find myself.
The reality of this eternal life in the here and now is that it is a spiritual thing. We may not be able to physically experience eternal life in this earthly existence, but our spirits can experience the intimate and immediate presence of the eternal God who is the author and source of eternal life. God is keeping careful watch over us and our future. As God's Spirit opens our eyes to see the hope, belonging and power that are available to us in God, our perceptions gradually change. We have an unbreakable connection with Jesus through the Holy Spirit, the one who cannot be defeated by death, who lives in heaven and within us now. By looking at things this way, we are able to understand that even while we are still here on earth, we are able to experience Jesus' eternal life on a daily basis. Mercy's new and never failing brightly shine through all the past. Watchful care and loving kindness always near from first to last. Tender love, divine protection ever with us day and night. Blessings more than we can number strew the path with golden light. <laughs> 